a 200 tonnes of gear that we travel with this production in 30 sea containers. So logistically, it's just a crazy show to move. We bring absolutely everything, so from the sets, to the props, to the wigs, to the wardrobe. So from looking at a stage that has nothing on it, to looking at a stage that is Aladdin, it's nine days. My name's Mark Henstridge, I'm the Technical Director for Disney Australia and the production that we're working on currently is Aladdin, bringing it here to Singapore. A lot of people don't know what a technical director does. The easiest way to explain it is if you take away the cast, you take away the orchestra, I'm responsible for everything else. I'm the first boots on the ground in a theatre and the last boots to leave. Other musicals that I've actually worked on are Phantom of the Opera. Lion King was a big one for Disney, but as far as the scale of the production, this is the biggest. One of the reasons that we are so large is our magic carpet effect. For that to work, we need to add a lot of steel into any venue, and we bring all that steel with us. There's 40 tonne that hang above the stage. We can make the carpet look like it's flying at night time. People would like to know how it works, but unfortunately, we can't say how it works. Glitz, it's glamour, it's sparkles, there's pyro, there's everything involved in this production. And there's also the songs that everybody knows. Friend Like Me, that's a great song, that's a, you know, it's a bit of a toe tapper. Can you sing to it? No. <laughs> there's a reason that I'm backstage. Part of my responsibility is to look after the direction backstage. The Prince Ali scene, there's over 200 quick changes in five minutes. So everybody back there is frantic. So what you see, the choreographed on stage movements is just as choreographed backstage for all the dresses, all the people putting wigs on and makeup on, all the mechanists, the flymen. The jewels and the crystals that are in the show, they're all in the costumes. The costumes are amazing. And a cast member can stand on stage and they're just sparkling everywhere. It's a magical scene, the Cave of Wonders, all that gold. And it's one of the key scenes of the show. Yeah, it's not real gold. If it was real gold, I wouldn't be here. I would have sent the containers off you know, somewhere where I know where they are. Opening night for me is a, a, a big night because we work on moves a year in advance. So I was working on the move to get here to Singapore a year ago. So to see it all come to fruition and evolve and get to opening night and the, the people clapping at the end, I love it. You know what, I started off as a cast member at high school. I used to do high school musicals back in when I was very young and, and very small. That's what gave me a passion and a love for theatre. Um, and then I started doing a lot of lighting for local bands around where I used to live in Australia. From that it just grew. My passion for theatre and my love for the arts just grew. The very first time that I walked onto a professional theatre stage, I was 18. And I, it was Phantom of the Opera in Melbourne back in 1992. And I still remember that feeling of, this is amazing. Three wishes. What would they be? Let's go one wish. I've still got to think about it though. I don't know what I would wish for. Because I mean, everybody, you know, they wish for money or power or something. I mean, you know, is that happiness? I don't know. Um, I would wish that I can continue doing what I'm doing. That would make me happy.